एंड वेलकम दिस इज नसरीन शेख एंड यूर वॉचिंग इट्स टूमोरो न्यूज सुपर टाइफून हैजीबीज इंटेंसिफाइज टू कैटेगरी फाइव स्टॉम सुपर टाइफून हैजीबीज स्ट्रेथनिंग फ्रॉम अ ट्रॉपिकल स्टॉम टू अ कैटेगरी फाइव सुपर टाइफून इन जस्ट अ डे इज अमंग द मोस्ट एक्सप्लोजिव रैपिड इंटेंसिफिकेशन ऑफ एनी ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लॉन ऑन रिकॉर्ड एनी वेयर ऑन अर्थ This latest western pacific storm first became a tropical depression and then tropical storm on Saturday. It exploded from a tropical storm with estimated winds of 60 mile per hour on Sunday morning to a category 5 super typhoon with winds estimated at 160 mile per hour in just 24 hours as it centered near the northern marina island of Anton about 200 miles north northeast of Guam according to the US. Joint Typhoon Warning Center Hajibis was the strongest rapid intensification of any western pacific tropical cyclone in at least 23 years according to a tropical scientist at Colorado State University The wind speed has increased by 100 mile per hour in 24 hours said CNN meteorologist which is nearly 3 times what is needed to be considered rapid intensification Hajibis lightning fast intensification has invited comparisons to Hurricane Patricia the second largest storm ever recorded worldwide in 2015 Patricia brought fatalities torrential rains and significant damage to parts of Central America and Mexico Direct Relief has extensive experience responding to tropical storm around the world in the wake of Super Typhoon U2. The organization provided requested medical aid shipping a total of nearly 5000 pounds of supplies. The organization's emergency response team is carefully monitoring the progress of Super Typhoon Hajibis and is preparing to respond as needed. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nasreen Sheikh. For more weather updates, please like, share, and subscribe our channel.